Hey guys, it's Kat again, and today I thought I would show you my version of the Spider-Man Cozy for your Otter Pop, Freezer Pop, whatever you want to call them. Um, what you're going to need is your G-hook, your choice of worsted weight yarn in red, blue, and a little bit of black to sew on the spider. So let's get started. We're going to start with our red hook. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to start with our red hook, <laughs> our blue yarn. And we're going to chain nine. And a chain, we're going to start with a slip knot first. So you go like that. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop and tighten, but not too tight. And then you're going to chain nine, which is yarn over, pull through, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're going to half double crochet in the second chain from your hook, so it's not this one, it's the next one. You're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, Pull through all three loops. You're going to do that in the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You're going to do that all the way across. You're going to have eight half double crochet. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to work on this other side here. So yarn over and you're going to do half double crochet in this first chain. So that was one. Then you're going to work in the next one, which is pretty much already a hole ready for you there. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to slip stitch it to your very first stitch. So you insert your hook, you pull through, pull through, and chain one. Okay, now you're going to do um, rounds of half double crochet. So let's see, I did, I did a different blue. So one, two, three, four, five. I did five rows, so this was one. So we're going to do five rounds of half double crochet, and you should have 16 oh, no. half double crochets. That was one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16 and 16. You're going to slip stitch it to your very first stitch. So that was two rows and we need one, two, three, four, five. So let's do three more rounds of half double crochet in the blue. Okay, so I did my one, two, three, four, five rounds. I'm going to slip stitch it, but I'm not going to chain one because I'm going to attach my red. And I just kind of slip through the blue and then chain one. And then I tighten. And then I start half double crocheting all around in the red. Okay, well, 
last one. Slip stitch to your very first chain one. And you can cut off your blue. Okay, so now we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do six of the red. So we just did we just did one round. So let's go around five more times. Okay, so I've done my two eyes popping out. Oh, look at that. I've done my six rounds of half double crochet. Okay. So I've done my six rounds of half double crochet. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm gonna slip stitch to my first stitch. And I'm gonna single crochet around the top now. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. Insert in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, going to slip stitch to, ah, slip stitch to your first one, chain one, and then you're going to cut, boop, okay, now I suggest weaving in all your ends before you stitch on your spider so your ends don't get in your way. Okay, so I weaved in all my ends. Now I've got my black yarn. And I'm going to try to recreate the spider. Okay, so let's see what I got. So pretty much, you got to make like a fat body, somewhat. And then legs shooting out of it. Yeah? Okay. Um, you know, you can even do like the spider. Oh, there's the kitty cats. You can even do the spider like half and half. <coughs> Excuse me, I think a bug just flew in my throat. I can do half and half. So I think. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do the spider half and half. So like two legs on this, two legs on that, and the body in the middle. So blah, blah, blah. Let's try. Um. Hmm. And I am no pro, I just kind of wing it, so. Okay. I tie a knot, I tie a knot, I tie a knot at the end and then I kind of go through it. So I only have one end to kind of tie off. Make a fat body, maybe? Hmm? No. Okay. So there's the body of the spider. So now we're going to give him some legs. Hmm. I think we kind of have to go out from over here. I 
Okay, so... do the top legs. Okay, top legs. Okay, now we're going to have to recreate it on the other side. That's always the tough part. Wow, way to go, boo boo. See? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm already tired. Yeah, mommy's trying to make a video. I made so much of it, I'm tired. It feels like I can just pop them easily. Oh, yeah. But I can't. I'm like, yay! And it wouldn't pop. It's because they're not blown up all the way. we finished our spider. Yeah, that one's a lot bigger than the other one, huh? Hmm. Well, I think we're just randomly stitching it on. I think that looks pretty good. So you can make a little spider up on top, or you can do the big spider like I did on half and half. But however you want to do it, there's your spider cozy. I'm going to tie off and weave in my ends, and I'm done. Hope you guys like it, make it, enjoy it, and show me what you got, what you made, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. <coughs>